Then I realize that I am much more than these crooks. And I'm a much stronger person. So that's why I'm here today to talk to you. To tell you the truth. Now you can take it for what it's worth. But I do have witnesses. And I will take a lie detector test. Because I'm not lying to you and I would never even dream of it. Not on a video. So anyway. If you want to contact me, you can contact me at blstevenage at hotmail.com. And it's B like Brava, L like Lima, S Sierra, T Tango, E Edward, V Victor, E Edward, N Nancy, A Alpha, G Goff, E Edward at hotmail.com. Because we really, really would be grateful to have somebody out there that cares about us and who wants to expose these people. Now one thing before I go, and I don't want you to take it the wrong way. The Vili Gomez murders. Interesting thing about those murders is that Luke Stout is one of the people that's missing. They've not found his body yet. But Chino or Rudolfo Vili Gomez put a gun in Luke's mouth and hit him in the head and left a mark on his head. And Luke went to the police. In fact, he went to the Upshur County City Police first, I think. Or maybe it was the state police. But anyway, he went to the city police and he went to the state police. And instead of the police allowing him to fill out a report and make a complaint, they refused to allow him to do it. And in turn, they arrested him, even though Rudolfo Valley Gomez had shoved a gun in Luke's mouth and had hit him in the head with it and threatened to kill him. And today, Luke Stout is missing. And Chino or Rudolfo Valle Gomez is in jail along with two other guys for the murder. Oh God, Oberg. I think's his last name. Now you tell me. We kept going to the police. We needed help. And we can't get any help. And they're all connected. Rose Harrison and Rudolfo Valle Gomez, Katie Morrison and Jerry Morrison, Neva Moss, Joey Loudon. It's just one extensive crime ring. And they just keep passing you around and passing you around and they all just rob you. They extort from you. I've had that happen with Joey Loudon. They just rip you a new one. And they will drug you. And they will hurt you. I'll tell you one very last detail, which I'm still quite confused about. When I lived in Buchanan Elkins area, I seemed to have gotten sick. And I had horrible stomach pain. And I had terrible diarrhea. And I felt really weak all the time while these people are around me. Now, it could have been stress, or they could have done something to me. But I can tell you, since we got away from them, and they don't know where we are, I'm not sick anymore. And I've started to gain weight. Take it for what it's worth. You tell me what you think. I know what I think. And I know what is the truth. So thank you very much for your time. And I'd be very grateful if there are those out there who will help us to keep us safe until hopefully 
somebody in the feds or somebody in the police will expose all these crooks and will be vindicated. And if we're really lucky, maybe the court systems will take back the things they've stolen from us and help us. Because God knows we have been running for a year and a half now and trying to keep my mother safe and keep us safe. And it has been really rough. So again, thank you very much for your time.